is up YouTube? Today we're gonna take a look at iOS 15 beta. I got the beta on two iPhones right here. I'm gonna talk about it. I have it on an older iPhone, the iPhone XS Max, and then we have it on a new iPhone, which is the iPhone 12. So I'm gonna talk about some of the dope features that stood out to me in the brand new iOS 15, some of my experience with it, and then I'm gonna come back with a more updated video after using it for probably about a week or so, and then just keep filling you guys in as the betas get released and changes come. But uh, someone made a good suggestion on my iPad OS 15 beta one. If you haven't seen my iPad OS video, go check that out. But let's talk about iOS 15 and a lot of the changes because a lot of people been kind of trying to make it seem like iOS 15 isn't an update and there are a lot of changes. So I don't want you guys to get misinformed out there in these streets. You know, these tech streets getting rough lately. Let me get my microfiber cloth because these fingerprints is looking wild. Hold up. I'm saying, let me give you guys some beautiful display. Hey, although, uh oh, damn, my camera just flipped. Maybe I forgot to tighten it. I don't know. Whew. Let me see. Hold up, player. All right, let's get this bad boy. Even though I'm about to get new fingerprints. All right, you guys. So iOS 15 just released, brand new from WWDC, baby. Let's unlock both of these devices. You know, Face ID in full effect. Um, first thing first, from even the home screen, oh, I don't have any notifications, but if I did have a notification up here and you guys were able to see it, they do look different. They have like this more rounder feel to them. Actually, let me pull down my notification shade right here. And as you guys can see, these are what the notifications are looking like. Now, let me make sure I turn down my iOS, my ISO on my camera because last time, oh, I gotta turn down my brightness. All right, let me do that on here too. Making sure everything is visible for you guys boom so as you can see these are the brand new notifications uh style that you're getting in ios 15 and i actually like it i like the feel i like the new wallpaper as well if you guys haven't noticed this is the new ios 15 wallpaper i have my phone in dark mode so since i'm in dark mode it has the dark mode version of the wallpaper but i like it i like the way it looks and i like the vibe of it so there's a lot more other new things happening here on this home screen as well that we need to talk about. One of the big new things or new changes is widgets. Right here, this is a files widget. And what's really dope about the new files widget is the fact that I can edit this to a specific location. So if I go to edit widget, as you can see, it's now showing you my downloads. But if we were to click here, I can choose any of these other folders or any other folders you guys have available in files and it's gonna show that. So right now, as you can see, those are those custom Apple Watch faces, the Rolex ones and all that. I'm gonna make a video about that. I'm using Clockology. Actually, right here, let me go ahead and pull up Clockology so you guys can see. It's an actual app that runs and you guys are able to have custom Rolex and different other watch face styles and things like that to your Apple Watch. So <laughs> add a little swag to your Apple Watch. That video is coming soon in the near future. I got you guys. Oh, before I jump too far into the iOS 15, let's talk about the compatibility. As you guys can see, I'm using an older iPhone XS Max, but iOS 15 is compatible even older than that. The original iPhone SE, the iPhone SE of uh, recent release, all the way back to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, so iPhone 7, 7 plus, 8 plus, 8 plus, 10, the uh, 10s, 10s Max, um, and so on. 11, and then the 12, and then eventually the 13. So Apple is supporting devices that are up to seven years old. This is why I always speak about the longevity, and I also like to do long-term reviews on Apple devices because they're consistently supported, as opposed to the Android's only three years. But that's another story. Let's get back into iOS 15 beta. Just gotta show some of the pluses and caveats to both and all that, you know what I mean? So another big thing from Apple this year for iOS 15 is gonna be the Focus. Now, I haven't played with the Focus, but essentially it's basically do not disturb 10X, you know what I mean? It's so much more customizable. It's not a, let me just hit do not disturb and my phone, everything's turned off. You can customize it. You got a work profile, personal profile, a sleep profile, and you can customize as to what you choose and who you choose can contact you while you're in those specific 
focus mode. So if you're in work, you know, you turn off social media, you turn off certain people contacting you, only allowing work contacts to come through and work notification things helps keep you focused and helps prevent <laughs> most distractions that possibly could come while working. So you get the work done. That's important for some people, you know what I mean? You gotta stay focused. Social media is running rapid. Something's always happening. If you don't know, you don't know, you stay focused. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at messages. This is another great change as well that I like. Now in the top right corner, you can automatically initiate a FaceTime audio or video just from a tap right there. And then even tapping right here, you get straight into the contact information right away just from tapping. There's no longer the necessity for you to tap on a contact to get the next menu and then tap that. They're eradicating that. It's literally tap, I'm straight to FaceTime. Tap, I'm straight to info. Apple is making it a lot quicker and a lot more intuitive. So iOS 15 is an improvement from 14. I'm gonna say that maybe a couple of times so there's some people out there get it in their heads. And I'm also gonna show you. <laughs> Take a peek at my notes, you know what I mean? These are good notes that I wrote on my iPad, but are now on my uh, MacBook Pro 16 is via the cloud, via the ecosystem, via the just all-inclusive. All right, I'm gonna stop. So another thing uh, that's new to iOS 15, for those of you who have that feature on where Siri can read you your uh, text messages, you can also now have it read you your notifications. So your YouTube notifications, Twitter and stuff like that, you can get those to be read to you via Siri while you're wearing your AirPods or AirPods Max or AirPods Pro and so forth. So that's another dope feature that's also available in iOS 15. Some people might want that. I don't know if I want my notifications ringing in my ear, but I will take the text messages though. I love that feature. And speaking of notifications, there's also a new thing that was announced uh, called the notification summary. So you can also schedule this. Matter of fact, let's go into settings and let's just see if we can get um, let's pull it up. Let's see, where is notifications? All right, so we go to notifications, schedule summary. Right now it's off, but you can turn this on and you can schedule your summary. So if you wanna do it, you can schedule the delivery of certain non-important notifications to be summarized to you at a specific time. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna set that up later in settings. I'm not gonna schedule that right now. I'll play with that and I will set up a schedule summary. And then later on when I do like a more in-depth or like a long-term review of iOS 15, I'll share that with you guys. So you guys can see that feature in action. All right, so the next change that I wanna speak on is Safari. Safari has gained some improvements. I'm loving the new look, vibe, and feel of Safari. So right here, when it comes to iOS 15, the address bar has been moved to the bottom. Not only is it at the bottom, you can go ahead and slide over and just get to different tabs, all with the swipe of the bottom. Having all of these new features located at the bottom makes it so much more easier to navigate, to also search for a web page, and also say you don't wanna swipe to your tabs and you just wanna see them all, you can click right there and you can see all your tabs. Whew. So that's actually dope. I'm loving the new Safari improvements so far. I'll get a little deeper into them and play with them some more so I can update you guys a little later. Okay, you guys, there's also been some changes to the photos. Let me show you guys a cool thing that I thought was dope inside of photos, especially with me being the tech nerd, photo and video nerd that I am. Now in photos, you have this info button. If you tap that, look at all of the information you get. You get the location, you get all of the details of how it was shot. This was shot with the Canon RF 35 millimeter F 1.8 macro lens, IS STM. They got all of the deets right there. In 30 megapixels, ISO 640, 30, at 35 millimeters, at, at a F2 with a 1 1 25th shutter speed. <laughs> I don't know about you, but me that I'm into photography and video, I love the fact that I can see all of that information in the photo with just that tap of the info thing and so forth. Oh, you guys, I almost forgot one thing. Safari now allows extensions to transfer over into iOS. So just like you can have extensions on your web browser on Mac OS, now you can have extensions in Safari in iOS 15. So I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be super dope. Hopefully there's some dope, uh, extensions being created uh, to buddy <laughs> wink wink please <laughs> it would be super dope to have a lot more extensions working on iOS this is why the ecosystem just tends to work for some people not everybody but for some people oh another dope thing I want to tell you guys some people were upset about this I even know family members that didn't like the fact that when Apple changed, let me find a clock real quick you guys where is the clock matter of fact let me just search for it hold on Oh man, all right, here we go. 
Let's search for clock. All right, boom. So inside the clock app, the old scroll wheel is back, baby. So for those of you who uh, used to, let's see, let's edit this real quick. The old scroll wheels are back. Recently in iOS 14, Apple changed the way that you would change the time with the scroll wheels being a lot different. And a lot of people didn't like it. And look at Apple, they took note of that. They realized a lot of people didn't like it and they gave us the original OG scroll uh, wheels for changing time and setting timers and things like that that we all love. So shout out to Apple for doing that. This is the thing that I'm talking about with the new Apple that they're starting to keep their ear more to the streets and consumer and they're just like, automatically, instantly, like boom, 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 just kind of, well, not instantly, it takes a little time, but in due time, we are getting a lot of the features and subsets that we like from Apple. Another thing in the Photos app that I did forget to mention, let me see if I can find a live photo for you guys. Hold on one second, let's see if we can go. Let me see if I can find one. Do, 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 do. I usually turn live photos off, so it might be hard for me to even find one. Usually when you first get the phone, you might accidentally take a live photo because they'll have it on. Nope. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, so boom, I found a photo that's live and instantly I can change it from live to like a loop right here in this new menu right there. So as you can see, it creates a loop. So you can create your own GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it. You guys get what I'm saying. I like that new feature that's being added to the Photos app. I like a lot of these new features coming in on iOS 15. Comment down below and let me how you, hold on. Comment down below and let me know how you like some of these new features that you guys are seeing on iOS 15. Oh, Notes also got some updates. I wanna share some of these uh, updates that they did to the Notes app. Hold on one second, let me see. Boom, where's the Notes app? Where are my notes? I'm sorry, I don't use this phone as often as I do. I usually use my 12 mini. Where are my notes? Someone help me. Uh, well, we're gonna have to do a quick search right here. All right, let's pull up the notes app. Boom. So if I pull up the notes app, you can now add tags to your notes. And I wanna show you how that works. Down here in tags, I already created one for hashtag iOS 15. It takes me to the note. This is my iOS 15 notes, iOS 15 note tags. As you can see, Apple now has added a better way to help you navigate and find notes. I take a lot of notes. I will show you my list of notes, but some of that stuff in there is confidential, but being able to navigate them a lot quicker, I used to just pin all of the ones that I felt were important, but now the fact that I can add tags to them and I can have all the YouTube related ones, all the personal, all the private information, all that stuff and I could just put tags and then use those tags to quickly navigate my notes. I'm super thankful and appreciative to that new added feature in the notes app from Apple. Shout out to Apple for that. Oh, also in the notes, you can add somebody. I forgot to show you guys that. Let's see, let me go back to the note. I can do an at, I can put an at and I can add someone. Let me see. Well, it's not working right now. I, I thought I could, but I heard you can. I gotta figure out how to do that. But yeah, I think you can add someone and tag them in a note or something like that. That's another feature set. Also, when we're in beta, not all features are always turned on right away, but they are gonna come in the final beta. The public beta should be in July, I believe. So you guys will be able to download that beta. And then eventually, as you guys know, around the traditional release, around the iOS, uh, I mean, not the iOS, the new iPhone 13, we'll see the brand new iOS 15 in full effect. But these were some of the dope quick features that I saw that I'm super hype about. And as you guys did see, uh, Spotlight has improved as well because, um, let me see, let me see if I search, what would I have a picture of? Oh, if I search iPhone, I wonder if they ha find some photos with the iPhone in it. Oh no, oh, they tried to take me to buy an iPhone. Look at Apple, you slick. Little. All right, I don't have any photos that I could search, but say if you have photos of your dog and you just type dog in the spotlight, it would also show up photos of you and your dog or any photos that you have taken of a dog and things like that. I don't have any photos of animals in this phone. I just have photos of me and uh, I couldn't search for me. Maybe if I search my name, CJ, let's see what happens. CJ. Well, they got the CJ knows tech and stuff like that. Oh yeah, so boom, you guys do get to see it. So I just searched CJ inside a spotlight and as you guys can see, it came in with my CJ Knows Tech contact, a couple of notes, which is really dope. Hopefully none of that stuff is too sensitive. Let me see. Uh, 
And then, uh, yeah, as you guys can see right here, my photos popped up from me searching the name CJ and a lot of thumbnails and things like that. So the spotlight search has improved also in iOS 15. Honestly, I could go on and on. We could be here all day talking about every little nook and change and cranny within iOS 15. I'll, I'll try to bring some newer features later, but this video is over. I don't want to hold you too long. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a nice preview of iOS 15, the fact that it's available and eligible to work with phones that are seven years old is absolutely phenomenal. And it's, it's typical of Apple, you guys know that. That's why a lot of people tend to hold on to their iPhones for a long time and don't feel the urge or the need to upgrade because they're still able to uh, use their devices. Just like I'm able to run iOS 15 beta on this iPhone XS Max. Actually, there's a video coming soon on this and um, vice versa for the latest. So. That was a sneak peek at iOS 15 beta one. Hopefully you guys saw some dope features. Uh, comment down below what you guys wanna see going forward as far as iOS 15 goes, cause I'm gonna do like a one week later update with me using this. Cause I'm gonna continue to use it. I wanna find more nooks and critties, crannies and features and blah, blah. I, that didn't sound right. Anyways, I want to find <laughs> some hidden gems in iOS 15 and share it with you guys. My name is CJ. Hit the like button if you like this video. Smash the subscribe button for more dope tech videos. I'm trying to keep you guys up to date, back to back, day to day, back to, you know, I'm trying to be consistent and all that good stuff. I love you guys. Peace. I put in work, you know I'm up to get it. Early bird gets the worm and the Yankee fitted. Like, whoa, legs under my eyes and you know. Won't complain, I'm tired, I'm on go For that grip, ten toes, till they swole For that grip, ten toes, till they swole Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now I get paid, vacate, I'm staying beside Breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right You could be my peace sign